Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, we're here for some in-person CEDH. So first up, we have me playing Tim Necrom Blue Farm. Cameron's playing Jessica Ishai Jeskai. Nate's playing Sisse. And Tyler's playing Grolnock. Again. I'm on, on the play. I'm, I'm on four. Draw card. Marsh Flats. Crack the Marsh Flats. Go to 39. Badlands. Cast Dragon's Rage Channeler. Pass turn. I'll get a draw. Training Center and pass. I will draw for turn. Misty Rainforest and I will pass. Draw for turn. You have my coast. Cast a Mox Opal. And then I'm going to cast a Mox Amber and do nothing with them and pass turn. Draw card. Underground C. Might as well attack Nate for one. Pass turn. I'll draw. Play a Tarnished Citadel and cast my own Dragon's Rage Channeler and then pass. I want one. You're playing the wrong deck, man, if you want one. Crack my Misty Rainforest. Volcanic Island. Draw for turn. I play a scrub land. I will pass the turn. We did not keep some very powerful opening hands. Excuse me. I speak for yourself. I just... You didn't have a turn one play? This game is all about the stack in your hand. There's a reason why I kept this five card hand. Play a Cephalid Coliseum. One colorless and one blue losing one life. Cast a Felwar Stone. I almost want to counter this to shut off all just of Just to get a surveil. Artifact mana and get a surveil. Yeah. I did not have Mox Opal life. I mean, I just, you can if you want. I think that's a pretty poor choice. But... I'm going to pass priority yeah, on it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> all right. Then I'm going to tap for one and a blue, and I am also going to cast a Dragon's Rage Channeler. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> you did get one of your I own. I did get one. Phantasmal image, okay. That is fantastic. Then I will pass. Untap. Draw a card. Scrubland. Cast Timna. Nate, I'm going to come at you with one. I'll lose one of my second main phase and draw a card off Timna. And that's it. Pass turn. I will draw a card. I'm going to cast Phantasmal image. Holy, what is this game? I'm going to copy Timna. Our metagame has really devolved into <laughs> something strange. Nate, uh, I need you to cast Phantasmal image on your upcoming yeah. turn. <laughs> that's really what Jessica is Shy is missing though is Timna somewhere in the deck. You actually say that in this game. Oh, I, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna swing Dragon's Rage Channeler over at Nate and then Timna trigger. I'll lose a life and draw a card. Oh, yes. All right. I'll play a Marsh Flat and I will pass the turn. Marsh Flat. Marsh Flat. Just one. Singular. <laughs> one flat. <laughs> Just one flat. Hands up. Keep I will draw. It's not a Phantasmal image. I'll play Exotic Orchard for my land for turn. Cast a Rhystic Study. I'm gonna Fierce Guardianship. Rhystic Study. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Surveil. I'm gonna put Pact Negation into the graveyard. I tried. Is it my turn? Yeah. On top. Why do I have my artifacts lined up here? That's weird. Draw off return. Uh, okay. I'm going to play a Cavern of Souls and name Frog. Cast an uncounterable frog, losing one life from Cephalid Colosseum. That's going to be a pass. Untap. Draw a card. Combat. Just Dragon's Rage Channeler at Nate. Second main, lose a life and draw a card. Up. Yeah. Play Command Tower. Yeah, this is not the best sequencing, but I'm going to cast this Jewel Lotus that I just drew off the Timna. Surveil. I like that one, so I'll leave it on top. I'll crack the Jewel Lotus and cast Crom. Pass turn. Mm. At the turn, I'm going to crack my Marsh Flats. A Triome. Yet to be punished. Punished is when you draw it instead of fetching it. When it's in your opening hand. When it's in my opener and I'm not on a Mold of Six, because it's also the perfect Mold of Six card in my hand. <laughs> it's good to have bad cards. It makes decisions easier. Look, I just fetched a five-color land now, though, so y'all can suck it. I guess I'll play... Volcanic Islands. I'll go to combat. Timna in at Nate. Yeah. So I get some life link, and then on my second main, I'll lose a life and draw a card. Cast an Esper Sentinel. Pass the turn. Okay. Ends up. Draw this card. That's what Jessica Ishai was missing this whole time. Timna. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not wrong. Play City of Brass. I'm gonna cast this A, and I will pass the turn. In end step. Winds of Rebuke targeting. Crown. May I draw a card? You may. I have a DRC trigger. Surveil. I'm going to leave that on top, I suppose. Wait. Oh, it's going to get milled anyway. Right. I'm going to put a Pact of Negation into my graveyard, just like my hero, Dylan. I'm going to miscast the Winds of Rebuke. Dragon's Rage Channel or trigger. May I draw a card? I will pay for it so that you may not. Chain of Vapor in the graveyard this time. Go to my turn. When three out of the four players have Dragon's Rage Channeler, it really changes the entire game because we're all just kind of like blowing interaction. Not to blow it because it gets it just gets us extra value with the DRC. Normally, these are the type of spells that you would wait to only get rid of things that are absolutely necessary to get rid of or only to counter things that are necessary to counter. But in this situation, it allows us to draw spells that we want to draw, so it is like advantageous for us to all just keep in casting spells. Draw for turn. Cast an arcane signet. May I draw a card? Prior to your DRC trigger. Yeah, I wish I could see that first. You may draw a card. Okay, thank you. DRC trigger. Surveil. Graveyard this worldly tutor. Move to combat. The frog is coming at Cameron. Frog trigger. Rejuvenating Springs. Urza Saga. 
and Mox Diamond go to the Croak Zone. Take three. Cast a Mox Diamond. Hell yeah, I got a Chrom Trigger. I also get a DRC Trigger. Surveil. I'm going to leave that card on top. Mox Diamond, I will not be able to discard a land. Or I'm choosing not to, Sure. to be clear. Sure, sure. I'm going to play this Urza Saga. Cast a Cephalid Illusionist. Oh. I am passing the turn. You have one left in hand then? I have one card in hand. Untap. Draw a card. Combat. Dragon's Rays Channeler is going to come at Tyler. Krom is going to come at Nate. Timna is going to come at Cameron. I choose no blocks. I choose blocks. I have no blocks. Okay. I have no effects. We trade, and then you guys take some damage. I forgot to gain life off of Timna's attack. I'm sorry. In my second main phase, lose two life and draw two cards off of Timna. Soul Ring. May I draw a card? No. I have no more replace. I will pass my turn. I'm going to cast a snap targeting your crown. Get a DRC trigger. What, is there a reason you didn't do that during combat when he was drawing a card off that yeah, crown? Yeah, because I don't care about that card, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Sure you don't want to bounce this Sissé, the combo piece, or this one, the combo piece? You want to bounce my card advantage? I have one card in hand, and I'm plainly yeah, on frog one value card in mode, hand. so I'm not the right target. Maybe Sissé, Nate, Sissé was a blocker Maybe right Nate now. just goes off. Sissé, you know, you know what? Dylan's just bullied. Let's yeah. hit... No, yeah, but it's going to work, though. I'm going to hit Sissé. Unbelievable. But I get a DRC trigger here. I'm going to put Dispel in my graveyard. All right, we'll go to my turn. Draw. Let's go to combat. Dylan, I'm going to hit you with a Timna, and Nate, I'm going to hit you with a Dragon's Rage Channeler. I'll gain two, but then I'll go back down to 34 after I draw two more cards then. Cast a Mana Crypt. I'm going to get Taxi and Probe Dylan. I'll pay two life for it. Maybe you should make a case for him targeting me with one card in hand. <laughs> Chrome draw. I'll let it happen this time. I'm still not worried about you. Cast Chrome Mox. Putting Ponder underneath. Cast Spellseeker. How do we feel about Spellseeker? We like Spellseeker? I wouldn't go as far as saying like. I love it. Grab Ephemerate. We're going to cast the Ephemerate targeting the Spellseeker. I'm going to intervene here. Yeah, so if you didn't know, Jessica Ishai is also a Jeskai Anala deck. Spellseeker can win the game with enough mana, so we got to do something about this. I'm going to Swan Song it. Esper Sentinel trigger. I'll pay for it with Sword. Swan Song back. That resolves. I'll get a bird. Okay. And I have a DRC trigger. Swords to Plowshares in my graveyard. Still in response. Swords to Plowshare, your Spellseeker. Cast Force of Will, Pitching intuition. Okay. Ephemerate happens, it will get exiled before it goes to the graveyard. Grab a final fortune. Uh oh. Pay three life and cast the final fortune. Don't fuck it up. I'm gonna try not to. Go to my final turn. On my upkeep, I get Ephemerate. Target Spellseeker. I have a DRC trigger. I'm gonna put it in the graveyard to fuel something because I'm gonna shuffle my deck anyway. Here, we have to get Enlightened Tutor. Still on my upkeep, cast the Enlightened Tutor. Chrom Trigger. Underworld Breach. Draw for my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot the mana crypt. Let's see if it matters. And I will cast Underworld Breach. I get a DRC trigger. Put Gemstone Mine in the bin. Pay three more life for a white. Casting Enlightened Tutor, Exiling three cards from my graveyard. LED. Get Probe. I get a DRC trigger. I'm going to target Nate. I don't think you have anything, right? Yeah, you don't have anything. Everyone was going to be able to win on their next turn. Except me. <laughs> Draw off of the Get Probe. LED exiling three. Get a Dragon's Rage channeler trigger. Put Wheel of Fortune in the bin. I have to think. I'm sorry. This this is this is going to take me a second. You're good. You got it. You just need to exile three more. I need to ephemerate. Crack the LED for white. Then you ephemerate the spell seeker for brain freeze. And then you have the mana to cast it. And you've cast a bunch of spells this turn. You brain oh, freeze brain yourself. Brain freeze, done. Cameron. You brain freeze. Okay. We got it. Crack LED. I'm trying to make dual. I have dual caster in my hand. I was trying to make dual caster work. Crack LED for three white. Pitching my hand cast ephemerate exiling three cards from my graveyard ephemerate flickers spell seeker it gets exiled as it resolves go get brain freeze what's the storm right now seven cast brain freeze floating two white and one colorless brain freeze is 24 then cast led get a drc trigger been Savine's Reclamation. Crack the LED for three red. One of the red and a colorless cast a twin flame targeting my spell seeker. Get a DRC trigger. Uh, hold priority. I'm going to let my DRC trigger resolve first, putting Muddle the Mixture in my graveyard, and then still holding all that priority, use this other two red and a white. Cast a dual caster mage exiling Felwar Stone. This and this. Dual caster mage enters the battlefield targeting Twin Flame. I like to present a loop where I create infinite dual caster mages and then go to combat, attack with infinite dual caster mages to kill everybody. Dead, yeah. Okay, great. 
So I still won with dual caster. Yeah, mate. you deviated <laughs> a little bit from the traditional spell seeker line, but it doesn't matter. I mean, underworld breach just allows anything that your heart's desire to come true. That being said, I did end up taking that specific combo out because I didn't. I didn't really need it, right? Like, I could have continued to brain freeze myself, get salvagers, make infinite mana, and then win with Jessica. That means that I would... It allows me to free up two additional slots in the deck then. Yeah, and even if you don't want to win with Jessica, you can always just brain freeze out your opponent. Storm will be high enough. You can mill everyone out and then just pass the turn too. So there's right, a, that's still a plethora a of different ways to win without those two cards. Exactly. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so at Patreon like our $50 patrons. Dylan Jasperson, Derek Vent, Byron Wang, C, Hwaji Ahmed, Anime Titties, Jacob Depp, Reese Uker, Unforeseen God, Kai Hornisher, CZ... Michael Blue, Jan Wildfang, Adrian Grimm, Sleepy Jarvis, Swampy McGee, Peter Larson, Cameron James, Jormax, Ugly, and Moxfield, and Baby Jeebus. Baby. Thanks, y'all. Check out our bonfire store for our t-shirts, sweatshirts, and all of our other merch, too. If you want to check out any of the cards that you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link down below. Check out the Alter Sleeves affiliate link for 5% off your order. Pick up some Dragon Shield product at our Dragon Shield affiliate to help support the channel. And PlayToWinMTG.com has our playmats and coins in stock, so check that out, too. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cut!